exactly is Enter the Dominatrix. <laughs> oh man, are we really digging that up? It was really weird. It was amazing. Worst idea we've ever had. Really? Script made no sense, like, at all. Saints Row 4 was way more elegant. Pierce seemed to like it. Of course he liked it. It started off with him as mayor of Steelport. W wait If Pierce was mayor, that means Mayor Reynolds and you were... Like I said, worst idea we've ever had. My administration was tough, but fair. I'd like to think the boss based their presidential performance on me. Yeah, that didn't happen. Of course, originally, they just booked me for a guest appearance, but I just chewed up the scenery so much they had to keep me. Of course, I did have to insist on several changes. Such as? Well, for instance, in ETD, that's short for Enter the Dominatrix, the Zin arrived with much fanfare, assaulting the city of Steelport. But, you know, I don't want to spoil it for you. See the mission, and you'll get what I wanted to change. Donnie, thanks for agreeing to this interview. I'm really excited to get an outsider's perspective. Outsider? What are you talking about? I was like the main character of Saints Row 4. You weren't in Saints Row 4. What? It's already out. You weren't in it. Are you serious? We probably should have told him. He was just so excited. Couldn't bring myself to do it. Now I get what Dex is complaining about all the time. So what are we about to see? Well, after Zinyak gets killed, there's no one left to control the simulation. And in order to establish the order, the AI became sentient, taking the form of a dominatrix. Hence the name, Enter the Dominatrix. Yep, single entendre. Very clever. <sighs> anyway, the dominatrix takes control over Zinyak's fleet and abducts everyone. That's where we meet Donnie, who takes on a sort of guru role and teaches all of us how to bend the rules of the simulation. What was it like working with Donnie? It was fun. He's a really nice guy. So why did he get cut? Well, you figure me, Matt, and Donnie all kind of filled the same techie Mary Sue role. You only needed two of us to bigger, so Donnie had to go. Why Donnie and not you or Matt? Oh, Matt and I blackmailed the shit out of people. Enjoy the friends. What comes next? Uh, a lot of bullshit filler missions. I think there must have been like four escort missions in a row. It was so bad. Take Pierce to Terminal A. Protect Kinsey while she does nebulous task X. Guard Shandi while she drives to the widget factory. Uh, that was the worst. That widget factory mission was fucking painful to sit through. Worse than that Nightblade reboot. So anyway, we jump through an arbitrary number of hoops trying to track down this dominatrix, and lo and behold, we find her. In a sex club, how shocking. That was our idea. So, you rescued Zemos. What's next? The Dominatrix orders Paul to terrorize the city, and we need to figure out a way to stop it. It was our darkest hour, and despair was filling the saints. But Donnie came forward with a plan to save us all. Let's not oversell it. He had us build a spaceship. As a team, Kinsey. As a team. You guys are at least showing the seven-minute QTE montage of us building the ship to fight Paul, right? And what you're about to see now is the grand finale. That's it? Look, I just don't think I can adequately justify what's about to happen. Would you say the President's assessment of the ending of Enter the Dominatrix is fair? If anything, they undersold it. It's batshit. I don't know, I think there's precedent. Totally. I'll put it to you this way. It was too crazy for Saints Row. Enjoy. <laughs> PlayStation.